Another feature that we've got programmed into this particular system is the zone, volume, and control. So from here we can simply uh, turn, um, we can see which rooms are on. The green, green buttons mean they're on. If I want to turn it off, I can just select it. It's going to turn these zones off. If I want to control the volume in a room, this is the living room that we're controlling here, which is the one that you can possibly hear. So from, from one screen, we can simply change all the volumes in the home. Let's mute this. Sorry. Mute, and uh, let's turn on one that you should also be able to hear, which is not too far away. This is playing in the background. Turn it back off again. Mute. So if we have a whole bunch of zones turned on here for music, we can uh, program anything that you want, but say for example, so these are all turned on now, we can mute the whole house if you want. Uh, we can turn them all off, turn the whole house off at the same time, so we can see what's on here, hit this, it's going to slowly change off turn off all the audio zones in the house and these lights will turn to red as they get turned off here. And then back to the main screen again. Or we can also turn them all on. So one quick button turns on the whole house. Quickly change playlist if you'd like. All off. Again. Okay. So, actually I'm going to turn that all back on again. So, whole house is turned on. Um, if we turn on some lights through the house, just hit a hit a scene here. So we can see here quickly uh, what power is on in the house. So every room right now, every zone is turned on. And if I want to turn things off, I can just simply select it, and it'll turn off from here as well. Um, so now the uh, automation aspects. Uh, so there's lots of different features here. One that I'll show you is Goodnight. So as I select Goodnight on here, this screen shows this is just custom for this home. Um, this this basically, depending on what you choose here, will if we say no, the light the heat's going to turn back up at a earlier time than if we say yes, and even earlier uh, it. It's uh, even earlier if we say ski day, basically they want to wake up a little bit earlier in the morning. So if we say no, what happens here is uh, all the audio and video is going to turn off except for the, in this particular case, the master bedroom in case someone's already up there watching TV, you don't want to turn it off on them. It's turned a path of lights on up to the ensuite so that the parents can go up and go to sleep or get ready uh, to, go to go to bed. Eventually, uh, this is, I've sped this up just for this demonstration, but uh, you can program for after, say, 20 minutes, all the lights now will turn off, uh, which has happened here much quicker, like I said. Uh, even This even turns off the, uh, all the computers in the home, turns, uh, puts them all into uh, sleep mode, basically. So it saves uh, saves a bit more energy overnight. It doesn't uh, you don't need to wait for your computers to go to sleep, or if you don't even have that set, it's uh, that's a good thing to do. Um, so now in the morning, or say uh, for example, we've pushed away, which does similar things, but while the house is in away mode, the HVAC is going to turn itself down. Uh, you can see actually it's still set to night mode. The heat's turned down to in this case 21 degrees, which is what they want to have for sleeping. Um, 
but for away mode this would happen HVAC would turn down and then at different times of the day uh, in the dark so after after the sun goes down the lights are going to turn on in different areas of the home uh, to make it look like the the uh, uh, people living here are, are at home in, in fact they're not um, also uh, also, you can have it programmed if you want, so that, uh, say, at 8 o'clock at night, the TV is going to come on to uh, make it look like someone's home watching TV and turn off again at 9 o'clock. Uh, you can do anything you want, virtually, when uh, you have the house set up properly. So if we were away and then we came home and uh, pushed uh, push Welcome Home, which is actually normally done on a keypad, uh, which is close to the, to the doors, but this is just an example. So for this particular case, depending on the time of day, the lights are going to turn on. Uh, right now it's uh, mid-afternoon, so yeah, none of the lights are going to turn on because they don't need to be. It's set to uh, turn the radio on in the living room and master bedroom. And that's about it for this bow, and the heat's turned back up to a regular temperature as well. So if we want to turn a room off, simply push the button. Okay, so another uh, feature that we've designed in here uh, to this particular screen is if you want to go further than whole home music control, we can control the home for uh, uh, anything basically. So simply uh, this screen, you select a room that you would like to control. So if we say living room, this will tell you that the living room is, sorry, living room was on the main floor. Uh, this will tell you that living room is the zone you're controlling, and then we can uh, say, let's say, tell us TV. So this is going to, let's change volume. Uh, this is going to turn the living room onto uh, TELUS TV. It can be whatever you want. We can say the media center, uh, iPod, XM radio, standard radio, the Xbox, whatever you want. Uh, and then once it's on, we can control it from here as well. So let's say mute. Turn the volume up and down. Uh, in the background, you can see, hopefully, that the TV is turned on in the living room. Want to control it. Let's push guide and we can control it from here or from the keypad, no problem. If we want to change this to uh, media center, simply push media center. You'll see in the background, TV is now turned to the media center and this will change to media center control. So now we can control media center from here. Want to watch a show? Simply push play, and that will play in the background. Again, more, just more examples. Uh, let's choose radio. This is going to change this to radio control. Now we can change stations if we'd like. want to control a different room, select the room, let's say this room. Now this is the active zone and we can say in that room we'd like to listen to the iPod. You might be able to hear in the background the iPod's turned on and we can control it now from, from this room. Okay, let's change it to radio. Uh, XM radio. Satellite radio. full control and this shows you two-way feedback on what channel satellite radio is currently turned to. It's also shown on on here as well uh, on a different screen. So this gives you full control over the whole home audio video. It turns TVs on and off uh, simply by selecting the room and telling the room what you would like to show in that particular room. So we can get a whole bunch of different things going on at the same time if you'd like, or if the kids just went upstairs and you want to send a movie up to them, it's no problem. So
so this takes a, a little while once in a while to come up because it has to wait for the TV and the amplifier and everything to turn on and on in, s in certain rooms in this case this particular room has a 7.1 channel amp so it takes a little while for it to turn on now if we go back to the main screen we can see what we've now turned on or another way to view it is here we can see the green buttons to show what rooms are turned on if we want to and the same control exists so if we want to turn things up and down simply control it from from these screens turn them off we can turn them off here see the TV uh, TV turned off in the background or we can simply say all audio video off this will turn off the whole house audio video won't change the lights or the HVAC settings in this particular case and that's about it for this demonstration hope that uh, it's useful and is interesting thank you